What's going on everyone? We got a new week for the vlog. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying everything. Uh, so we do have a couple things that I have sold today. So let's uh, go ahead, pull them from the rack and we're going to go ahead and start shipping them out. A couple things that are going out. We did sell an essentials hoodie. Uh, it is the cream colorway and I sold it for one, one, pretty much 150. I got 150 out of it. And so I paid 95. So I'm making $55 from that. Uh, and that one sold super quick. And then, so this is this one i'm actually going to talk about a little bit so it was about two weeks ago i posted that i found these at a thrift store so i found these for this pair specifically was like nine dollars say plus taxes i spent ten dollars max on this so this is a pair of hoka 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 one ones um and they are a walking like running shoe that is kind of more like not really known especially if you're only into like hype sneakers like you don't know about hoka but these are very popular for people who are super into walking and running and doing all that stuff. And so, um, and they go for a pretty good amount. So this pair is used. There is like a scuff there and just a little bit of wear and tear, but I did just sell these on, on eBay. So it took two weeks for these to sell. I spent $10 after fees and shipping and all that. I should be left with about $50 out of this shoe. And so that goes to show you that I, I just made $40 profit on a shoe that I thrifted for $10. So like I said, you don't always have to have a lot of money to start reselling. You can, you have to, it's, it's more about knowledge. The more knowledge you have in the world about things that sell, the more money you can make. So like PlayStations, gaming cards, there's these. In the summertime, there was swimming pools. Now it's like heater, like there's so much that you guys can like get into. Um, it's just all about having the knowledge. So like I said, I sold this one, made 40 bucks and it only took two weeks for it to sell, which to me isn't too long. Uh, the other pair of shoes I have are a pair of Oreo fours. These are selling for a hundred dollars shipped. I sold them for the low because uh, they were scuffed and the guy sold it to me for no insoles. I paid 70 for them. So I'll probably make about eh, like 10 or 15 bucks, but I just, I kind of wanted to hook up somebody and just kind of get these out because selling shoes without insoles and no box is pretty hard. Uh, but I did also sell these black cat fours. I paid pretty much $140 for this, which is an absolute steal. And I sold these for $310 shipped. So I'm making about $160 profit off of this one. So uh, we are gonna pick up some packages. All right, guys, so we had a lot. We have four packages to open up, which to me is a lot, and we have more coming. The delays on shipping have just been killing me because all of my money's been tied up in all of these shoes that I've been buying, but shipping has just been taking forever. So let's go ahead and box these so I can get them up and sell through them, all right? So we do have four. One, two, three, four. Let's get it. All right. So the first one is a pair of the 700s, which I got directly from Adidas on the confirmed app. The thing that sucks about these is that they came so late that these shoes have bricked. So here is a size five in the Yeezy 700s, which honestly, it's not a bad shoe. Retail was 215 after tax. They're going for like 230 right now. So it's definitely a bummer. All right, so we do have 
a pair, two pairs of Nike Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 1s in a Nike box. So this one does come from, I believe, Samir Souls. I think I pronounced it wrong last time. We did a deal before, and uh, I think I said Sam Sammers or something, and now I feel like an idiot, but uh, I think it's Samir. Um, so he did GUA with me, which means gifted upon arrival. So I have not paid him for these shoes yet. He shipped them. He trusted me with them. So we're going to check them out, see if they're legit, make sure they're in good condition uh, before we sell them. So I think he bought or someone bought them from this store for $350. Uh, but these are a pair of the Shadows. And hey, man, they look pretty clean to me. I mean, I still need to, of course, try and legit check them as as best as I can. Yeah, this pair looks fine. I think these are a size 12. So not going to lie, the toe box looks a little weird to me. But the leather on everything else looks pretty good. Um, this lace out of here. I mean, the shape of the back looks good too. So, And then we got another pair right here. We got a pair of Royals. These are definitely a little bit more beat up which I think we, we knew going into this. So um, there's like a small scuff right there, which I think he noted. But the toe boxes on these look weird. I kind of feel like maybe somebody like steamed them to like try and get out the creases or something. But I don't know. The back of this is kind of beat up low key. And there's a scuff right here. It's kind of hard to see that. But oh, I did not know about that though. There's this one too, so uh, I, I'll definitely look over them and legit check them right now. Uh, we agreed to 500 bucks for both of these and then I paid for the shipping label. So I'm in these for about 515, I think. But I did not, I don't know if we talked about this scuffs like right here and on the other shoe, it's a lot worse right here. That's why I do GUA. I don't think he's trying to scam me or anything. It might've just been something we both overlooked. But those are things like I, like, I'm not going to send someone money without knowing them. And they're going to send me a shoe that has more problems. And maybe like, because that's the thing too, like condition is all relative. You can think a shoe is nine out of 10 and someone else can think that shoe is seven out of 10. It's all relative. So that's why I do this. And I ask so many questions. So if you guys are selling to me, I'm going to be asking you questions about condition and all that stuff because I need to know everything before I agree on a price. It's easier when I can see them in person and meet up. But if you guys are shipping to me, then I'm going to ask you to do GUA because I, I need to see the shoe in hand. So hopefully you guys understand. I'm going to go ahead, legit check these, talk with him and see what we work out. While we get all that stuff situated and I talk to him and I'm making sure everything's fine. Shout out to Samir for all the socks though. Sock game on point. Don't worry. I'm going to wash my hands. He said that they're all clean, though. He said, sorry for all the socks, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to throw it in there, man. But anyways, we do have uh, two more boxes. So this one comes from T-Will. He has been sending me some steals lately. So let's see. I ordered this box maybe like two or three weeks ago. That's how bad shipping has gotten. So let's see what we got from him. I'm just glad that they, I'm just glad that they arrived, you know? So kind of my blessings that way. But we do have... I forgot what I got, but like, dude, look, <laughs> already off the bat, some Jordan 4 white cements. Uh, these are the older version though, but it looks like someone painted these white, I think, but they did a pretty good job. Most people who paint these white, it's like super clumpy and pretty gross. So these are not in bad condition not bad for those and then oh yeah we have a pair of game royals in a size 10 and a half no box but they're in good condition look at that star count right there so these look to be pretty good these are my size so i am tempted to keep these what i've been doing with these is painting the rest of this black and turning it into a into a fragment that's what it's called a fragment so and then the last shoe which does come with the box which i am grateful for i know that these are size 10 and a half also a jordan 4 in the bread colorway so we do have a pair right here and these look pretty clean except for right here there is scuffs on that one but that's still not too bad 
I think I got these for a really good deal too. These, and the, the last one is in this box, which I am hoping that we got something in here. So this is the undefeated pack. And I know those brick because they were super easy to get. I, that's the only colorway I really like of the Air Max 97. But the reason I bought the pack is because there's a little figure that may or may not come in the box that I really want to keep for myself because like I said, I want more figures, um, but they're expensive. And so this one came free if you got it. So I'm hoping that it came in this box. But before we get into the shoes, guys, it is, ah! I'm so excited. Yes, we got the Air Max 97, the little ones. And here is the figure that I was hoping to get, which I am so glad that I'm able to get this. So we do have this right here. So it is a U and it has no feet, but then you can put and replace it with these shoes. So that's why I'm super excited because olive is like my favorite color. And so it's just, it's just cool that we actually got to keep these. I was super excited. I spent $400 literally for a toy or for the chance to get a toy because these shoes, I mean, I'm keeping the green pair for myself. The other pair, I don't know yet, but I literally did it just for this. All right, guys, here they are. So here's a black pair, which honestly, it looks better than I thought. It's it's like subtle, but it's not at the same time because of the neon hits. So this is honestly such a clean pair of shoes in person. Like, I, I, I'm i tempted to keep, I mean, they're going for retail, so, or these ones are going for under retail right now, but I'm like tempted to keep them. And then this is the shoe that I really wanted. This is the olive pair, which I'm definitely keeping one. Been wanting one ever since the Complex Con dropped one. And now that they put these out to the masses, this is definitely going in my rotation. I also got, I got a pair for myself. So I don't suggest you be shopping for yourself all the time, but I did not want to pass these up now. If you haven't heard of this brand, Caslon, then you're missing out. No, I'm just playing. This is just a red box. <laughs> these are some some Nike Dunks. Uh, the highs, these are the Kentucky highs. So this pair, uh, I got them for a really good deal. Uh, I found it off of OfferUp. These are a size 10 and a half, so they are my size. And they're super, super clean, like honestly. So he was just selling them because he had the low top blue pair. And so he was like, well, I might as well just get rid of these. So I bought these from him. I think I paid oh, like 240 for these. No box, but they are super duper clean. So this is definitely going to be a shoe that I'm going to wear. I mean, shoot, I should trade dunk my dunks for these dunks. I, I mean, with the pants I'm wearing, the low tops definitely look, I think they look a little bit better. Maybe, I don't know, but the high tops still clean. They fit well and that's why i have this little seat with the mirror thing this is honestly shout out to uh my mother-in-law she bought this for me a store was going out uh out of sale and then they were selling this so this is like one of the seats that you sit on and then you could try on shoes and you can like try and do all that stuff so shout out to you thank you so much for that so so i did want to send you guys this or show you guys this because i'm guessing you guys probably won't be able to really see someone unboxing this or showing you, but this is the undefeated Bateman. So out of here, you do get a keychain, uh, which I guess you can attach a pair of these shoes to it. But here's a shoe. This one's supposed to be the green one. So that's honestly pretty cool. It says Air Max on the back too. And even Nike Air on that. So that's pretty cool. And you got the same thing, the black one. So it's not bad. You see, like, I think that's a magnet in there and then Air Max on the back. So I think what you do is it looks like the magnets are there. So these might just clip on like straight up. Yeah, they just they clip on straight up. Oh, that's dope. It has the air, the undefeated sign right there, too. Oh, so it's supposed to be like socks, bro. I get it. I get it. And then over here you have the U-Man with his big old feet. So you can have him just stand there. Or I think what you do is, cause I see these feet, these other feet with the, the magnets on here. So I think that's how you, you put them on. So now they have the Air Maxes on there. Oh, 
the lighting's bad, but now you can have a stand with the Air Maxes on. Or you can have a keychain, so. All right, so I'm definitely working right now, but uh, so the Royals came back, they're, they're pretty good. So we agreed to 280, uh, me and Samir. So uh, 280 for these, they're pretty in, in pretty good condition. I do think I can get maybe 330 to 350 out of these. Um, and then, so this was the, the problem shoe right here. So there was like scuffs on the side that he didn't mention. Uh, this one's like probably worse. There was a cut on the shoe that is kind of hard to see right here because it just looks like stitching and messed up stitching, but you can see up close that it is like cut right there. So it's honestly like a small cut and it's hard to see, but it is hard to sell them like that because I, for me, I'm honest, I'm not gonna try and hide anything when I'm selling shoes. So um, he agreed to sell these to me for 170 because I think I'll probably get 200, 220 maybe out of these just because of the cut and the scuffs because I don't have royal paint I don't I'm not going to fix these up like that so hoping to give someone a steal with these but just know that there is a cut right there so shout out to him for fixing the deal and being okay with it but this is why like I said this is why I do GUA because even though you guys like are trustworthy like he sent me legit shoes it's just something that he didn't notice and it's it's easy to not notice some things when you're just you know trying to flip shoes and you look at them real quick and you're doing stuff like it happens i get it um but it's just important for me because if i just sent him the money and i didn't have like and i told him he could also just be like well i sent you pictures or i showed like you know it, it can always get messy that way so this is why i do gua personally for me um and hopefully you guys can trust me with that so i'm going to go ahead and send him over the money and hopefully just close out this deal What's going on we have a Tuesday shipment going out, so we have someone picking up an Essentials hoodie right now, but we do, sh we are shipping out uh, two different hoodies, so we're sending out a top hoodie and a olive hoodie, I think I'm getting about 130 uh, for each, so that's another 35 bucks, 35 bucks, that's 70 bucks, plus another 35 bucks, that's like 105 bucks or something like that, but, um, so shout out to you guys who bought from me, thank you Pastor Murph. For purchasing one of these hoodies shout out to you we do have one thing to open up in here oh maybe it's a little bit no, it's okay. uh, we got another cause bff doll so we have not just one so here's one but then here's the other one that i had before so now we got two All right, cool. thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, All right. Have, a nice have a nice day. Take care. All right, guys, so we're out here in Pomona, California. We're here at Heart and Souls, and we're going to uh, go ahead and take a look inside, chop it up with the owner, Chris, and we're going to go ahead and see what he has. Sneakerheads, what is 
probably your advice for people who are just kind of starting to get into the game? <clears throat> okay, great question. Um, stack inventory. <laughs> Try to hit on the apps, obviously, no, but you know how impossible that is. Um, you know, just build good relationships with people. Um, it's a, it, it's definitely a small community. Um, I like to say that we're like the five percenters. 95% of people really don't know the sneaker game, aren't resellers. So there's, there's plenty of business out there, but in that 5% percent of team in a sense of uh, community to definitely um you know just just be just be honest man in a sense and 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 do good business um don't don't be shady i mean i, I guess that's probably in that question but i have one thing be shady man be be, be nice to people um and, and know that uh, um yeah it's bigger than just a sneaker game man it's so much bigger than that yeah i mean just to give you guys some insight like the relationship that we had was because we did good business together and now he owns a shop and now I get to come over here, check this, check stuff out, um, but also I get to ask him questions about the shop and because if I was just a random stranger, I mean, maybe we'd share, but I feel like because we knew each other, it's a little bit easier for me to want to, you know, open up the shop a little bit early so I can come talk to you. Right. You know, that, that's not something I could just go up to a random person and just ask them to do because they're just like, well, I don't know you. That's right. But, you know, building yeah. relationships. Relationships, so building relationships. And, and find ways to, to we obviously have a, uh, a common ground, right? Sneakers. So that's already an icebreaker. So there's not, a, you know, some of you guys are like, I'm introverted. Oh, then sales is probably not where you're supposed to be. So I believe most of us are extroverts out there that are actually in the sales game. So <laughs> the icebreaker already happens. The, and now it's, you know, spend a little more time to build relationships. Like, like I said, me and Andrew. And then you, when you build relationship, it also builds a trust. So when Andrew sells me something, I don't have to get super caught up on legit checking and if, if he's legit, right? The last time I've, I've never had a, L, a LCU on any of the groups, right? Because we built that relationship ourselves. And then, uh, like I said, uh, it's a small community. Even the shops, they get wind of, of some of you, uh, some of us that are still, you know, in groups and on offer up or still selling on gold and, and, and StockX or, or your Instagram or whatever you use, TikTok these days, right? Again, it, it is a small community. So build relationships, be, be, you know, don't be shady, be up and up and, and be, be as transparent as possible. Yeah, man. Hopefully that works, guys. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, brother. I get on the touch. <laughs> We're gonna wash our hands. <laughs> we got a couple things going out. So we did just chop it up with the homie Chris. So shout out to you for, you know, taking the time to, you know, talk to us and just, uh, you know, give me some insight, even on the sneaker game at your level and what you're doing. But anyways, we do got a couple things that are going to go out. So one of the first things going out today is going to be a pair of these Carmine Sixes. I bought these for 80 bucks, but I didn't realize that there was some soul separation. So that's why it's super important for you guys to always, always double, triple check the shoes because this like this, I don't know if you can see that, but like this part's like coming off right here. So I'm sell I sold them for a hundred bucks ship. So that's probably what's, it's gonna, I'm just getting my money back at that point. So it kind of sucks. Um, but I did sell these 3M Jordan 13. So these sold for 135 shipped. Uh, I bought them for 70 bucks. So I should be making about 50 bucks profit, which is pretty good for that one. Um, and then I also sold these Wu Tang or Maze Yellow or Iowa Dunks, whatever you want to call them, everyone's calling these different things. Uh, bought them for 170, sold them for 210, shipped. So I should be making about 30 bucks on that one. Sold these Air Max 97 undefeated. Uh, so I bought two pairs in my size just because in case somebody struck out and wanted them, because I knew they're going to go for retail anyway. So I'm hooking up a homie for retail. Uh, he just covered the shipping price for these. So uh, we did sell these Jordan One Light. Lights smoke gray. Uh, these were a size 13. I bought them for 140 bucks used. I sold them on eBay for 210. So I should be making about 60 bucks profit on this one. And lastly, we also sold these Yeezy 350 static reflective. So they sold on GOAT for about 380. And I'm gonna be getting about 325 after all the fees and stuff like that. So, and we're also gonna start filming right now this um, real versus fake. Uh, Jordan 4s because I want to help you guys legit check shoes so make sure to check out that video the video is already going to be up so make sure to click the link up here so that way you can watch it uh, but like I said subscribe because you never know what kind of content I'm going to come out with that's going to help and educate you guys so that's the goal here 
bring you along in the journey, but also try and help educate you guys so you guys can become better resellers than I can. Is if you guys are reusing boxes, please, 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 if you're you reusing Nike boxes that come with this Nike tape, rip it all off, please because it's gonna save you a headache because when people see that it's from Nike, it entices them more to either steal them from the front porch when it's delivered or it entices people if you drop it off at a UPS store, those employees can know and they can tamper with them. I mean, it's illegal too, but you hear stories all the time that happen. So please rip it all off. Let it be bare bones. Like this is pretty much nothing else on here will say anything sketchy about sneakers being in this box. Now there is a small little covering right here where you might be able to see it's a black jordan box what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put the shipping label over it so that way no one can look inside of it either always be safe with your packaging all right guys so we are right now driving to go do a, a meetup and i'm supposed to buy a pair of bread fours and the price was 220 that was his asking price so i was like yo if you still have them i'm gonna take them and he said he did, so we're meeting up. But I told him every every time I do a deal with somebody and I want to record because like it's for YouTube, you know, it's for you guys. And so I always ask him, hey, is it okay if I record? Or I don't even say, oh, is, is it okay? I just say, hey, I'm going to be recording. If you don't want to be in the video, please just tell me and I could blur your face out. Uh, and then this guy really didn't want to be recorded. So that's kind of a thing. But just I'm just saying that when people say that they don't want to be recorded, I respect that. That's totally fine. I do think people just generally, like, they just don't want to be on camera or on YouTube. And so I get that. But whenever people say no, it does put me more on high alert. Like, if people say, oh, it's fine, just blur me out. Like, that's that's one thing. But when people are like, no, I, I just don't want you to record at all. Like, that does put me on high alert, which is a little bit more helpful. Because then I'm, like, thinking, okay, either he just really doesn't want to be on camera or he's gonna be trying to sell me fakes, or this could be a shady deal and something's gonna happen. So it just makes me on really high alert, make me, it makes me think about watching out for my surroundings and making sure I'm not just trying to get in and out of this deal quick. Like I'm gonna be spending time looking at the shoes, making sure they're real. Uh, but yeah, so we're on our way right now and I'll show you guys the shoes. If, if it goes through, I'll show you guys after, catch you guys up. All right, so I did get uh, this right here for a good deal or steal uh guy was legit he just didn't like being recorded so everything worked out but i did double check these uh legit uh, size nine and a half they were super clean like look at all that star that star count but we paid 220 for these i'm gonna get this out later but 220 not bad probably gonna sell it for about 330 so that's about a hundred dollars profit right there all right guys so we got two packages in so first off, we do have a pair of 7Y mochas right here. So as you guys know, this shoe has just been going up and up and up in value. So I think even at a 7Y, these are going for about 450 now. Uh, these were from Two Kicks. So shout out to Two Kicks. Uh, I think I paid about 300 for these, somewhere around that price, 3, 310. So, and then over here, we do have one package. No, it did not get shipped like this. I took it out of that box. So um, just so you guys know, nobody's shipping me. Please don't ever ship shoes in a paper brown bag but we do have a pair of shoes right here this one is from soul advantage and he said always a pleasure doing business with you andrew i look forward to future sales and business ventures together thank you for your support and keep up the good videos on youtube talk soon bud so uh me and anthony we are doing a sneaker giveaway already so it's already up and running don't forget to enter because it probably closes at the end of this week when you guys are watching this video but uh, we're giving away $300 so don't miss out but he did uh, do a deal with me uh, before all that went down so he gave me a pair uh, at a very very good price I'm not going to talk about what kind of price but he did hook it up because he knew I wanted these and he got lucky on sneakers app and said hey man let's do a deal so here we go this is this is my shoe right now Dang guys, the Grinches. So this is definitely one of the shoes that I wanted. I mean, I love Kobe. You guys always hear me talking whenever I get a Kobe shoe about how much I really love Kobe and appreciate him. 
but I've never owned a pair of Grinches before and I've always thought they were cool. It's just by the time uh, I really knew about them, prices were already super high. So I'm glad I finally got one in my size. So shout out to you, Solid Vantage. Thank you. Go follow him on Instagram if you guys haven't, just so you guys can enter that giveaway. Um, Cause we're trying to bless someone for the new year. New year, new kicks, right? So look at our giveaway winner. The mitts. What's up, man? The winner right here. I joined the last day too. Got lucky, but instead of choosing three hundred dollars in shoes, he chose three hundred dollars in high beast gear. Yeah, to be honest, it's kind of a move already for me. I kind of been some high beast and all that. <laughs> so Supreme little box logo with the HQ office on the back. This thing's beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not bad. Is this a tag? Oh, it's a stock. Yeah, oh, I can't even tag. see that. <laughs> can I open it up? Yeah, I mean it's yours. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Antisocial. Tell me why it reminds me of like the Sean Witherspoons. Oh, you're not even wearing it. Nah. It's your case. <laughs> kind of looks like that. These I was in love with. Yeah, oh, man, these are the wave. I literally sold through so many. Dude, you have a bunch of these. Yeah, you I'm pretty much sold out too. Now. Really? Yeah, in like two, three days, it sold out. Oh my god. So, essential sweatpants. You see it? See, I was gonna go for sneakers, but I was like, you know what? I kind of like, I kind of want more clothes. So, uh -huh. and once I found out you're getting high beast stuff, I'm like, oh, you know what? Up on that instead. <laughs> but yeah, so this one, social the ASSC wave shirt. This one's going for like I think it's like sixty-five bucks. Mm -hmm. Let's just say sixty bucks. This uh sweatpants were going for I think I had them out for one forty, so that's two hundred. And the beanie was a hundred, so that's three hundred bucks. There we go. All for free. I didn't you know No purchase nothing. No purchase nothing. He, All I he did was, was he got lucky. I was on my phone, I said, Oh, let me sign up real quick, you know, and I signed up next day. I'm looking on Instagram. I'm literally playing Warzone. I look on Instagram. I tap on Andrew's Instagram. And I'm like, yo, that's my name. <laughs> I'm like, that's my name right there. What's going on? And I'm listening to it. And I won. I was like so excited, screaming on the mic, like, let's go. <laughs> and then like, I just, I didn't think I was going to win. I never win giveaways. So it's, it's like, that, it was just funny. And I just, it was a good time. Hey man, you just, you just never know. And tell the people that I, it's not rigged. I don't rig my oh, It's not even close to being rigged. Not <laughs> even like on his YouTube, he even showed it. Yeah, like, I show you guys. Unlike, unlike other people who do YouTube, I show you guys the entire process of who wins. It's all legit, all right? Yeah. And I love how you have to, well, you made me contact you. You said, I'm not gonna contact him. I'll have him contact me. And I was like, that looks so <laughs> Yeah, dude, you contacted me like within the 15 minutes yeah, I, know. I posted it, I which saw, is crazy. I was like texting him already like, yo, when can we meet? <laughs> Yeah, but so. dude, I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm that's so glad I got this. I know you've been supporting the channel, so uh -huh. I can't wait to see you go up there. You're gonna have your own shop one day, right? Yeah, it might be sooner than later, dude. Let's make it happen. Yeah, man. That's how it's gonna go. <laughs> there, guys. What's going on, everyone? So I'm at another sneaker shop. I'm kind of just giving you guys a tour and just a little bit of insight from some sneaker shops that are around me. Anyways, we're here at Diverse Souls out in San Bernardino. So if you guys are ever out here, um, make sure to come through because I checked, I, I walked in a little bit, talked to the owner. Um, and so we're just going to kind of show you guys what they have, maybe strike a deal up because I saw some good prices. So we'll see if, if they go for it, but let's go ahead, go inside. you guys um is if if you had a thousand dollars right now what would you do like you just started the secret game you have a thousand dollars what are your moves where are you going to spend a thousand dollars on man i'll probably do probably local stuff to be safe um offer up um maybe crazy that's what i um offer up for sure though some hidden deals in there a lot of people don't know um before that though for sure do research on any type of shoe you buy because I mean fakes are even better than before so I know a lot of people that get got I mean 
it's not the perfect rule. I, I, I've gotten caught before. Uh, but before buying any shoes, for sure, anywhere, do some sort of research. That's just don't, don't go buying shooting in the dark type of stuff. Hoping it's good. Um, that'll happen later on, but you know, just be yeah. safe on that part. Yeah, no, it, it's super true. Like, the sneaker game isn't something easy to just get into and just do. Like, there's a lot of, lot of research you got to do. Understanding market, the prices, understanding if the shoe is fake or not. Like, there's a lot of things you, that go into it. Yeah. And so just because you have money doesn't mean you can make money. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta lose it. You can lose it fast. Yeah. You know, that's part of the game. But um, maybe just one more question. Um, what's like, maybe like in your month, month and a half of opening up a shop, like, what's been like, like one of the best things that, that came out of the shop so far? Um, for sure, I'd probably have to go with just building relationships with customers coming in versus when I was just doing it on Instagram, it was just mostly shipping and stuff. Mm -hmm. But now just having people come in here, even if they're not buying anything, just hanging out, shoot some hoops, talk about sports, shoes, uh, brings a lot of nostalgic moments mm -hmm. when we talk about old shoes, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's probably the main thing I like. I mean, business is another thing, you know, but just building with people, uh, something Drew likes to do a lot too. Mm -hmm. uh, just fun, man, connecting with people with shoes. Mm -hmm. It's dope, man. Yeah. I mean, and he's he's what twenty four? You said twenty four. Twenty four. To me, that's still that's young. Like, yeah. I mean, I know we see other people opening up shops that are like nineteen, twenty. But hey, man, like even if I opened up a shop, I still feel like I'm young and I'm older than this guy right here. So, yeah. um, but yeah, I appreciate the time. Appreciate yeah, you letting me look around, do all that stuff. But, yeah. um, all right, guys. They got like Sir Castle T Dunks, size thirteen six hundred. They got like some De La Souls also. 240 10 and a half that's my size bro let's see what else they got they got um even these jordan one low metallics 10 and a half 180 some pretty good prices low-key honestly like these are these are good prices these are the older black cements but they're in super clean condition 240 it's a good price bread fours 290, size 9. And that's crazy, the okay. sold out this time? Oh, I did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did? Yeah. All right, three more. You got three more cars? Yeah. Uh, eight and a half, ten and a half. Uh, what you want for the time, right? 25 only. For the 100? Yeah. You take 2,000? Yeah. Nah. No. Bro, they flying like crazy. Yeah. It's been like, bro, like, probably by the time I leave here, like four or five people view my DMs, like, asking. The one hype is crazy right now, bro. Bro, just, just those in general, since they're numbered, mm -hmm. and then all that, it's just, I thought they were going to be cheap. Like, and this was going to, like, crease and stay, but I don't think that's how it's going to be. Yeah, the so leather is actually pretty nice. I don't mess with shiny stuff too much, but I like Me either. Yeah, glossy. I saw those and I was like, hmm. They're not glossy. That's why yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. They're shiny, but they're not glossy, you know? Dang. Like those, uh... All right, y'all. We do have some boxes in here. These are some bigger boxes. Uh, one of them is a trade. Uh, so he wanted to put value towards a pair of Deadstock Obsidian ones that I've been holding on to. And then, um... And then we got two boxes full of shoes that I bought. So uh, first box, like these are, these are, you know, bigger boxes, you feel me? So let's go ahead, dig into it, see what we got. But this one comes from T-Will. I've been cashing T-Will out for a minute. Uh, at least this is my third box from him. So it's been doing pretty good deals. So we got, let's see what we got. I think I know what this is. So here we got a 10 and a half. We got a pair of bread fours right here oh with the hang tag too so they do have a little scuff right there which i think i knew about it's hard to remember sometimes but that star count is good everything looks good is this what I, oh this is what i think it is so we got a pair of jordan one breads right here so these are a size 11 they look legit i think they seem good, but look at that star count. Good, man. I think I'm in these for about like 550-ish or something like that. So we got a pair of these Yeezys right here, the triple black V2s. Look, the writing's still on there too. These are pretty clean. Just a little bit of boost yelling, but there's not even like heel drag or nothing. These are clean. So these, I think I'm in these for about 200. I think they sell for probably closer around 280 or something like that. Let's get into this other box that i bought from him so i bought these like weeks apart and they got here on the same day that's how bad shipping is so let's see here 
opening this up upside down. But three pair, it looks like three pairs again. So a size 14, it's a pair of black cement threes. So these ones do have a little bit of yellowing on them right there. But other than that, they seem pretty clean. Like even that start count's pretty good. And they come with the original box. And so I know most people, um, you know, it's hard to find size 14s. I bought a whole collection of size 13s. And so I'm trying to get bigger size shoes for some of you guys who are watching this right now. So I'm trying to, you know, look out for you guys. So size 14, I think I paid, I don't know. I think I paid like around 200 for these. Got a size eight and a half in, what is this? A pair of black cat fours. These are, these are honestly really clean, bro. Like that's wild. So we got these for, I'm, I think it was like 250 or 260, I think. So these have been selling for about like, like 350, I think. I don't know. I forget. All right. Right here we got a pair of metallic fives. Used, no box. What size is this? Size nine. So they're not bad. I mean, it's got a little gunk in the in the bottom, but like overall, it's not too bad. It's starting to yellow a little bit, but that's normal. So these ones honestly have been shooting up in price. And I think I got these for maybe like, hey, how much did I pay? Like 180 for these? I don't remember. I need to look back. But these have been doing pretty good. I'm pretty sure I could sell these for somewhere in like the 250 to $300 range, I think. All right, this last pair right here comes in a rep box. This is a Jordan 29 box, but um, so he did GUA with me, means gifted upon arrival. So he was like, yo bro, I'm gonna send these out to you. Whatever you think you can get, like give me for them, put it towards the mochas and I will, or not the mochas, the obsidian ones and he'll cover the rest in cash. So we got these in right now. Oh, these are a size 12. They, they did not look like a size 12. I thought they were smaller, but we will get, we'll see how much these are worth, see if they're all legit, throw them an offer, and we'll see how much, how much else he'll owe me for those obsidians. For cleaning, obviously. Uh, this one, not really. This and then one this really one was only worn once, so I didn't really have to clean them, but yeah. No, right there, brother. You own that. No, uh, he owns it. Uh, I'm just working with him for today. And then, yeah, so I'm just posted up. But yeah, people hit me up for those. Yeah, that dude. All day today. Did you just post them or something? Uh, yeah, or I posted them yesterday on offer of at least. But since then and now, it's just, you know, I was like, since you're taking both. Closer to six and seven. Jumps in my area just so quick. Yeah, where are you at? Okay, I'm in Reno. You know oh, yeah, yeah. Like Reno, Nevada. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dude. I just came down here to buy a new car, so. Oh, okay, cool. And then do you have like a shop up there? Or? Uh, no, uh, I used to work at a shop in uh, Sacramento and went to school down there. Oh, okay. And then I just moved back to Reno, so I've just been like selling food on the side. Oh, okay, that's nothing, cool. Nothing crazy or anything. Yeah, yeah. Cheers that if you want to try it. Yeah, I got you. 340, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, bro. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, how we going to do? God bless. Yo, what's going on, everyone? So it is Saturday morning. So I know there's kind of been like some choppiness right between like Thursday, Friday-ish. Uh, it's just I've, I've been busy. I've been trying to make some moves. And so it's been kind of hard to remember to, you know, pull out my phone and record some stuff. But uh, so yesterday you saw that I sold two pair of Dunks. That was a pair of the Hennessy Dunks, which I sold for 220 And then the Black History Month Dunks, which I sold for 120 I just went lower on the Black History Months because I've had him for a little bit and he wanted both, so he wanted a deal, gave him a deal. Now, where I sold him, I was at the shop Heart and Souls, back with Pastor Chris, working with him. So he let me kind of come in, see a day in the life of the shop, and I'm going back in today. So hopefully we can kind of record a little bit more in the store. It's gonna be super busy, but we did sell some stuff. Um, at the store, we sold two essential, two uh, a hoodie, a pair of sweats, a Supreme cap, and then um, those two shoes, and then hopefully someone's gonna be picking up a pair of Yeezys today. And then to, over on eBay, on the on the internet side of things, I sold a couple things. So uh, one of the first things I wanna talk about is this pair of Obsidian Ones. So I bought these for $400, these are a size 11. Someone traded me a pair of, um, his name is Kevin, he, he traded me a pair of Jordan 11 Breads, but from 2012. 
And so he shipped it to me. He was like, just throw me a prize. He sent the shoes without even telling me a prize, which is crazy that he trusts me that much. But then we agreed that uh, it was about 170 in value. There was no box, but the shoes were in okay condition. I think they'll sell for like 220. Uh, so he traded towards this and then gave me 350 bucks cash on top. So essentially that's about a $520 value. So that's always a good dub. Plus he's getting a shoe that he wants and getting rid of some shoes. That's what we're all about. So um, these sold for a hundred bucks shipped. I sold them for the low because they have some nicks and scuffs on both of the toe boxes. So uh, I paid 70 for these. So I should be getting about 85, maybe 90 bucks uh, for them. So I'm still making about 15 bucks. Just, just kind of throwing out deals, you know? Sold these breads for 165 shipped. I paid 80, so I should be making uh like almost like 65 bucks back um there's like a toe, a cut in the toe box i don't know if you guys can see that right there but uh 165 shift they normally go for about 200 so i marked it down for you know that that cut but i also sold these jordan 13 low breads uh sold these for 135 ships so should be getting about 120 and i paid uh 70 bucks for them so that's a 50 dollar profit and then the last thing I sold is a pair of Jordan 1 mid bands. So I am holding a bunch of these, but I got these ones uh, from a deal from the homie Rob. And they sold, I bought them for a retail about like, I think I gave them 125 for them. And they just sold for 165. So I should be making about 30, 35 dollars on that one. I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, yeah. yeah. So these ones are at 150. And these ones are at 180. Do you want this one? I can't that's fine. You want to take both? Yeah. Oscar, what's good, brother? Are you doing 160 or 170? Um, 180, 140. Those are pretty fresh. Those are definitely underrated, man. Um, these are... Yeah. These are not these stuff that are 160. Yeah, you know, I get you. Like I said, I'm not really that like, low, so I get a car and like free selling, so. Yeah. Your opinion, really quick, what do you think about these dunks? Because they're the women's size. Because they're, they're women's size. I wouldn't wear them. All right, no problem. Do you think other girls would wear them, though? Or it's too loud. There it no. is. Move on. You already, you already no. got her response. <laughs> All right. Just not the purple. If it was a different color. But it's a dunk, man. You know, she doesn't. She does, first off, she's the wrong person to add. She's not really a, a dunk person. They're for, they're cool. Uh, I would be if I had them. Yeah. And then how much did you want for them? Honestly, like I think like one eighty. Like I'm honestly, I can go lower. For that? sure, bro. Okay. I bought, I found these on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, cool. They're if you like don't, 40 bucks. You bought them for 40? Yeah, but the girl was like, a, she was like in Temecula. Oh, so it was, was a drive. Like, uh, I'm not going to go down there just for like, you Got know, $40 you. pair of shoes. Yeah, so yeah. So she actually shipped them to me. Oh, nice. So it was like for 15 bucks. So you paid like. But then once I saw them, I was like, I think they're, I'm not good at cleaning <laughs> shoes. I was like, and I, I just you. kept them and I was like, I'm going to clean them. I'm going to clean them another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So did you buy them both from her or? No, or I bought no? this like eBay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, honestly, for these ones, yeah. I think I'll hold off on them. All right. Just like, be, what's the lowest you'll say? Like, well, for me, I just think it'd be really hard for me to sell. God, yeah. You know, just because like. Kind of like what she was saying, though. Like, I think it's just so purple. Yeah. That, like, yeah, and the soul's crazy. Yeah. I mean, they're cool. Like, when I saw them, I was like, dude, these are pretty cool. Yeah, they're not too bad. Like, these ones, I think, I definitely have to restore these. Yeah. But uh, I'd be more interested in these, for sure. Yeah, like, how much were you? Um, let, me, let me see if I can find anything about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah, quick. take your time. Just, I mean, just honestly, I'd be happy if I took, like, 70, 65, 60. Okay. You know what I mean? That's not bad. Um... Yeah. Just because I know I'm not. If, if I try to clean them, they're not. I don't. I don't. I don't have actually like cleaning. Pro like you know. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's like hey, I might do an okay job, and I I'd rather you. just not. Yeah, I'm a, like for these ones, I'm probably gonna toss them in the laundry machine and. You know what? I was wondering, that. like, should I do that or? Yeah, it, it's, I think it'll help, uh, but I mean, you still have to like treat the shoe and like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, like you know better, man. Like I, I'm. 
I'm, I bought them thinking, you know what, I'm gonna try to, you know, but then once I saw them, I got Yeah, I think cash wise, you said you take 65 for them? I'll take 65. All right, man, let me let me get that for you. I'll, I'll take them for 65. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll wear anything. Yep. All right, guys, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you for all of you who watched all the way through. If you guys have liked this content, make sure to subscribe. Don't miss out. Make sure to like the video because that really does help me in the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. And comment down below um, just any of your thoughts, anything that you like from the episode. I just want to hear what you guys think about what I'm doing throughout the week. I know it was a little bit different and a little bit interesting, but I hope that those interviews and those questions maybe shed some kind of light on you that a lot of the sneaker game really is about relationships and, and the relationships that you build. So hope that helps and we'll catch you guys on next week's episode. Peace.